Indonesia continues to be an attractive destination for FDI. Growth has been quite significant and we see that this trend will continue in the future. We are very excited about the uh, digital economy in Indonesia. Indonesia's digital economy will grow to $133 billion by 2025. That's a huge growth and the fastest growing in ASEAN. So with this context, we are very excited on all the opportunities, be it in the institutional banking or in the consumer banking, on the fintech, e-commerce, and all the digital players. We used to compete against each other in the banking sector. Now we are moving to collaboration. We found that it is now time when you collaborate with all these new players that you need to create solutions. There are solutions that need to be co-created between the banking sector and the fintech sector. This co-creation structure between the banks and the fintechs will be the role model going forward. The Indonesian banking sector is quite in good shape. If you see the uh, capital ratio or the liquidity ratio, the credit growth and the growth of deposits in the past few years, you know, they are quite robust. The interest margin for Indonesia is close to 5%, a very attractive uh, market for investors. The entrepreneurial spirit of Indonesia is fantastic and we really have high bets and high hopes. The SME sector will be the big driver for the Indonesian economy going forward. It could be lending directly to them or we can lend to save e-commerce, the fintech players that facilitate the SMEs which will further accelerate the growth of the SME sector. Indonesia will between 2030 to 2040, reach what we call the demographic sweet spot, which is presenting an opportunity that by 2045, hopefully, if we have the right growth environment, right job environment, that Indonesia will join the ranks of high-income country.